So when you post in the chat, just um, if you could click the drop down so you post to everybody. All right, New Jersey. Oh, that's <laughs> that's me. I'm from Jersey. Uh, North. Karen from Canada, California. Excellent. Pittsburgh, Florida. I just came back from Florida, Sarah. It was so nice there. Oh my gosh. All right. So we're going to have a lot of, we had um, a lot of registrants for this. So we're going to try to get through as much as we can. Super cool. All right. Oh, hey, Tammy, fellow Jersey girl. Gosh, we have people here from all over. Love it. Recovering from the hurricane. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okay. So welcome everybody um, welcome to today's webinar for our practice better community and also the living plate rx community um i hope you're all having a wonderful week i'm shelly myers business success coach with practice better and i'm joined by our guest today Jeannie petrucci who's the founder of living plate rx and stephanie hoffinke who's the founder of string marketing so welcome Jeannie and stephanie Thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you for having us. Yeah. So Jeannie and Stephanie, they're going to provide more detailed intros here in a minute. Um, so many of you may already be familiar with Jeannie and Stephanie, but if you're not, you're in for a real treat over the next hour. Um, so I myself, I have been a member of Jeannie's Food as Medicine Practitioner community for over two years, and I can share with you that Jeannie's energy and enthusiasm for what she does and how she helps the practitioner community is truly incredible. And I can't wait for you to learn from her and Stephanie today. So they're gonna be taking, talking to you today about how you can offer evidence-based courses and meal plans to help grow your practice. So we're gonna be talking about how to leverage pre-built white labeled and branded courses in Practice Better to create a unique experience for your clients. Um, how you can add meal plans to courses and offers to add value in your practice, um, how to create a dynamic culinary nutrition experience with live events, cooking videos, and meal plans to present as a membership to your clients, um, how to build a culinary nutrition challenge to run with your clients, and then I'm going to be showing you in practice better in my demo system how all of this comes together and how easy it is to set up and sell memberships and meal plans through packages and programs. So with that, I'm going to hand the stage over to Jeannie and Stephanie to take it away. So exciting. So we'll just do brief intros first. Is that okay, Stephanie? Yeah. And, and let me just kick this off by saying it's really cool to kind of see these three boxes on your screen. The, these are the essential pillars to scaling your practice. You need all three. You need the HIPAA compliant technology, you need the culinary nutrition content, and you absolutely need marketing support in order to bring all of that to your clients and to help you scale your practice. So it's just kind of really cool to see uh, you know, our three faces here in this space. Uh, yeah. I'm Jeannie Petrucci. I am a, a registered dietitian nutritionist. I'm a culinary coach, and I am also an expert nutrition content creator. My company is Living Plate RX. We are your complete nutrition content solution. That means that we give practitioners, health and wellness practitioners, all of the content that they need for the practices. When I say all of the content, it was so funny. I just got back from Fancy. That's why my throat is hoarse. Um, and th that's the Food and Nutrition Conference. It was in Orlando. And as we're telling people what that actually means, like what when, when you say all the content I need, what do you mean? It means ebooks, handouts, social media posts, blog posts, presentations, slide decks, um, meal plans, obviously, and full digital nutrition courses. And as, right, Stephanie, as we're telling them kind of all this content they have access to, literally their eyes, it was like the Living Plate RX effect. It was so funny. Their eyes just kept getting bigger and bigger. And they're like, well, how do I not know that you exist? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But anyhow, that is what we do. We provide you with all the content. We also provide you with some business resources that are specific to culinary nutrition, things like patient assessments um, and things for your practice. So that's who I am. And that's what I do. Stephanie, you want to introduce yourself? 
Yeah, thank you, Jeannie, and thank You're you, welcome. Shelley, for having us. Um, so I'm Stephanie Hoffinke. I started String Marketing 12 years ago. Um, we're a team of professionals in the marketing field that focus on nutrition entrepreneur practices. And uh, we do everything from branding to websites, meaning uh, we will we basically craft your messaging and bring you leads. That is our focus. And um, the wonderful collaboration that we have here with Jeannie creating content, um, a big need is, well, how do I implement that? Um, Practice Better has some really great solutions for that. We understand the technology, but then also on the branding side and the marketing side, how do I get the word out? How do I attract the right people to these programs? Um, and um, and get them get the 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 courses actually implemented and make it easy on practitioners. You guys should be helping um, your audience and your clients excel and optimize their health and um, not be spending hours and hours in your technology and content creation. And so that's why it's so exciting to be here and help you guys out with this. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, so the first objective that um, Shelley had presented to you was um, we want you to be able to leverage pre-built white labeled courses and practice better to create a unique experience for your clients. So let me just define white labeled first. So I provide you with all the content you need. Why does that make sense? Because we all are working off the same evidence. So why should thousands of health and wellness professionals be creating the same content. We're literally creating the same content over and over and over again because we're all evidence-based. It, it's insane. So you start with evidence-based content that is simply designed that can be branded for your practice. So that's what white labeled means. We deliver it to you. You pay us a licensing fee and you get to use it and call it your own. So nobody knows any different. It becomes your content to use to scale your practice. Um, as to why you should be um, offering these kind of dynamic experiences, um, just to be competitive. I mean, COVID really changed the game for everybody. If you were not thinking about creating a virtual practice or offering digital services, um, you certainly were when COVID hit. And it's, it's really kind of baseline just to be competitive. So we give you a huge head start by providing these pre-built courses that again, can be edited, you can take them apart. I mean, Stephanie, you've, you've made a lot of changes for the practitioners that, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. They're taking it, modifying for the audience, making it serve a, a specific pain point of their audience yeah, um, and, and really customizing. And that's so important with the white label content. It's the, it, think of it as a base that you can build off of. And it's the, um, it's the structure. Yeah, exactly. Um, and for those of you who are joining us right now, I want you to drop in what your niche is because we, we all have a different practice focus. I want to hear what niches um, we're going to be talking about today. So just right now, drop in the chat. What is your niche, please? Um, the second thing that Shelly um, said that we're going to be covering today is how adding meal plans to courses and offers increase the value of your practice. So the reason why I offer our proprietary digital meal planning service and digital content is because I, in my soul, and, and I know, actually evidence suggests, you, you can't grow your practice and serve your communities as best as you can with just one of those. So yes, meal plans are super helpful, but meal plans are not gonna be a game changer as a standalone in your practice. You really need to support that with the content. And you know, on the other side, you can't just deliver content and not a culinary experience because it just doesn't get people over the finish line. So we have found and have proven out through, uh, through many years and, and actually in research as well, that providing both the nutrition education and the culinary experience gets people across the finish line because most people lack confidence in the kitchen. So if you're just delivering nutrition education and you know, you're giving people a really good motivator by informing them you know, why they need to change their diet, and then you hand them content, which, which is useful, like pantry lists and recipes, you're just handing things over, that'll get them to a certain point, but it's not gonna be sustainable. In order to get them over the finish line of sustainable behavior change, you need dynamic digital meal plans. I'm not talking about PDFs, right? Because those, those expire, right? You need a digital um, dynamic space to offer meal plans. And Shelly, I'm so excited what Shelly's gonna show you today because you can now incorporate meal plans into packages. So let me just take a look. We have gut brain connection, menopause, um, hypertension, high cholesterol, family nutrition, sports nutrition. We have it all. So our library covers 
pretty much all of what I'm seeing here, all of the baseline nutrition, we call them nutrition prescriptions. They're collections in our library. But if you join our community and you see something that's not there, we put it on the development schedule. So, all right. So adding meal plans to courses and offers add value to your practice. Um, Stephanie, would you agree with that? Like, I mean, you're like the, you're the you know building value person. What are you seeing yeah. with your clients? Yeah, so some of the most searched terms on online that's pertaining to nutrition, you know, the action people who are ready to take action or wanting to engage with nutrition entrepreneurs is our meal plans, lists, guides. They want they they want some actionable things. And while that's not always the the end all answer, just like Jeannie was saying, you want to meet them where they're at and you want to get them engaged and then take them on an educational journey. Get them engaged with you to understand your perspectives, your philosophies and how you can help them make those changes in their life. And so offering those things, whether it's via purchase or as an upfront lead magnet to get somebody on your email list, um, that's the really the, uh, a really nice thing about Jeannie's content. She really does understand consumers and what they're searching for and what they're wanting um, and has a full library of, of tools and guides and meal plans, obviously, lists, things. Yeah. Um, that you can take and implement for um, for either a free lead magnet or for entry point purchase, um, and get your people engaged, and so that you can um, you can really get in front of them in other ways than after that. So, um, yeah. yeah. So I love what you said, Stephanie. That you know, meeting people where they are. Every patient that ever walked into my practice when I was practicing wanted a meal plan, right? Everyone wants a meal plan. So, but just because they want a meal plan doesn't mean it's appropriate for them in terms of their um, nutrition therapy and helping them meet their health goals, but back it up. Everybody wants a meal plan. So if you're a practitioner who's like, I don't do meal plans because they're a hassle, you're leaving a, a ton of money on the table, right? You, you need to attract them and say, you know, you're, you're asking me for the meal plan. Why do you want a meal plan? Why do you think you need a meal plan? And just explore that a little bit. You know, the meal plan can serve as a resource. It actually should never be a mandate. And I think that's why meal plans kind of get a bad rap. Shelly, would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, so get them in. I mean, there, there's an, a tremendous lead magnet. You're, it makes them feel like they're being heard. They're, they, they want meal plans. So you're saying, yes, I provide meal plans, but let's take a step back and, and explore kind of how we're going to use them, right? So we give you lo lots of options in that area. Um, okay, and then uh, we're gonna cover uh, right now, creating a dynamic culinary nutrition experience with live events. I love that, Shelly. Um, cooking videos and meal plans to present as membership. So we are all in the business of making science delicious. That's my tagline, right? We translate the science of nutrition because we are evidence-based practitioners into delicious foods that your clients can eat. Because at the end of the day, if they don't know and can't prepare, you know, meals for themselves, they're, they're not going to meet their health goals, right? You, you, you need to get them across that finish line. Um, so creating a dynamic culinary nutrition experience is super cool. Shelly is going to be showing you after I finish talking um, how you can do that I personally think that live events are super key. And I'm sure Stephanie, you're going to agree. The mm -hmm. second you as a practitioner put yourself into a program, you know, we're not talking about taking a living plate arts program, which is completely built out for you. You get it branded and just press go. Like that's not going to be the answer to scaling your practice. You need to insert yourself mm -hmm. and practice better gives you that option to build in like live events. So like a live you know, cooking experience, like the meal prep club that Shelly's going to show us just is super exciting to me because I know that's what people are looking for. And that's going to add value to your practice. Um, and you can also present it as a membership, which helps supports you with kind of predictable recurring income, which helps. Um, okay. And somebody is saying here, Shelly, do you want me to, I see a question. Do you want me to answer it or do you want it to save it? Oh, to the you end? Go ahead. No. Okay. So Sarah is saying, I would love a discussion of staying in lane for those of us who are health coaches, um, who would love to provide clients, but I'm concerned about overstepping. Sarah, that is an, an excellent question. And one that we get often. So living plate RX, we have two pathways. So we have healthcare professionals and wellness professionals. There's very little difference between the content. The only difference is that the highly prescriptive clinical content is only available to healthcare practitioners. So think of things like kidney disease, diabetes, um, inflammatory bowel disease, that falls into clinical practice. But you are in the business of helping people meet their health goals with food. So everything else is on the table, pun completely intended, for you, Sarah. 
it's not that you can't provide meal plans. That is not true. You can provide meal plans, but you just can't pro provide, provide them as a nutrition prescription. You have diabetes, so follow this meal plan. That is clinical practice. But if you are looking to improve somebody's health with food, let's do a cooking club. That's not clinical practice, but you and I both know that that is going to support the client with getting over the finish line. So I love that you asked that question, Sarah, that says to me that you honor scope of practice and that's awesome, but there's yeah plenty of room um, for you to stay in your scope and still scale your practice with our content. Um, Sarah is saying yes, uh, because I can't prescribe meal plans to cure or treat. Correct. You cannot work with somebody who has diabetes and say, follow this meal plan to lower your blood sugars. That is clinical practice. But you can take on clients who simply want to learn how to cook better. Now, you and I both know that if they cook, if you make break down the barriers to cooking healthy foods and they actually end up cooking healthier foods, they're going to improve their health. Also, I will say that there's a significant number of health coaches and educators in our community that work with clinical practitioners. So I encourage you, Sarah, to do some interdisciplinary work as well. If you work with a doctor and they're handing you a nutrition prescription, then you can curate content beyond that. Does that make sense, Shelly? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, great. Another question, uh, can we switch from wellness to health practitioner? Okay. I love that. Oh, Maria, congratulations. I love that. And RD to be, I'm so glad you're here. Aww. Yes. Of course, absolutely. You can switch. Yes. And, you know, if you have a master's degree and you're on the RD track anyway, just I'll give you access to the healthcare professional. Um, so just reach out to me, Maria. So, yeah. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to chat about before I turn it over to Stephanie and um, Shelly, uh, building a challenge. So a challenge um, and actually, Stephanie, I, can you take this? Because I think yeah. like the, the chat, we give you all the content that you need for the challenge, but I really want Stephanie to describe kind of why you might offer a challenge. Um, and of course, practice better makes it really seamless for you to do that. So why would somebody want to offer a challenge instead of like a full digital nutrition course? Yeah, absolutely. So challenges are really popular. Like I was saying earlier, the actionable things are, are searched when, when, um, the, the kind of people that you want to bring to your in, into your contact list um, are people who are searching for actionable things. They are, they're searching with intent. Like I was saying before, meal plans, lists, and guides, but challenges are one that are very engaging for people. So if somebody is looking to make a change, but they might not be ready to sign up for your bigger offering yet, a small challenge is a really perfect fit. And I really like this example for today to be able to show um, the capabilities of practice better. Um, and then also it's a great way to take Jeannie's white label content, create a one primary outcome focus for your clients. Um, with a challenge and put together something short. So some benefits of a, um, and again, this could be used as a free lead magnet or it can be a small entry point purchase, right? So the benefits is can, it can take cold audiences and turn them into very engaged customers of yours. It can teach them your philosophy, get them to understand your per, personality and to trust your expertise. And so there's always those three key things that you want in marketing is know, like, and trust. Um, and challenges are the perfect way to get people engaged. Now, if it's short enough that you can do that in, in very quick order and you can deliver this over and over and over, um, virtually via practice better which um shelly is going to share with you um some other benefits of it is you can gather um gather social proof for your approach so if you need some voices that are saying hey these are people who understand my approach and you get to gather a few words from them like testimonials things like that is is terrific and if you're offering it as a free le um, lead magnet or an entry point purchase, say a low cost offer, then it can lead into a bigger offer. So for example, with Jeannie's white label content, there are some, um, there's a ton of, of cooking videos, different things like that. You could do a short inflammation five day challenge. Let's cook for inflammation this week and reduce our inflammation. And then it can lead into the bigger inflammation course, um, and which is a four week course. So then you're stepping them up in, in the purchase and not asking too much from them right up front. So always leading into a higher ticket offer. So with challenges, um, you can have them longer, like up to 90 days. Um, but if you're using it for a lead magnet, Think about just what can you offer really hard hitting in five days. Focus on one primary outcome for that challenge and get your prospects to commit. 
Um, that's the other great thing about challenges. You're getting people into that challenge that they're ready to take action. They are ready for what you're offering. They're ready to make a change. And so, you know, their mindset is right where you need them to be. They just need to be on board with you. Right. And so that's another perfect way to start. Um, and what a challenge might look like is daily actionable items. Shelly will show you in a minute what that looks like in practice better. And there's some some great stuff that she's set up in there where you can send out daily. It can just be delivered via email. You, you can supplement it with lives and things like that. But when it's if it's free, let's keep it simple. Right. Let's keep it actionable in emails with short videos, um, which Jeannie's library is full of videos. So it could be a recipe a day that simple of a challenge for inflammation with a few uh, key notes about inflammation, teaching them along the way. Um, and make sure that there's a daily win in your in your um, challenge. So you want to celebrate those small things, whether um, you're getting people engaged in a Facebook group and having them post something that um, that they were successful at or posting a, a picture of what they made or whatever it is. Um, and then, of course, in the end, you're always wanting to tie it back to that bigger purchase, whether it's a one on one with you and some um, heavier hitting coaching and one of, you know, that or if it's a bigger course. And that's one nice thing about Jeannie's content. It does lead up. Um, and in Jeannie's content also, there are a ton of guides, um, lists, uh, ebooks, things like that, that can help you build out that challenge in many different ways. So you're not having to create a whole learning path all on your own, um, but you can take all these and modify it for your audience. So Challenges are super popular. They're super engaging, um, and they're a great way to create really big super fans really quickly. Yeah, so, and and so great. Thank you so much for that. And and also, you know, we're in a recession, and so you have a bigger ticket item. It might just increase your sit the length of your selling cycle. So offering a challenge or something as an opt-in will deliver to you highly qualified leads. Like anybody who signs up for your challenge is already, you know, somewhat has a commitment and I'll think of health behavior change, right? So they've moved from contemplation to taking an action. And when somebody is in that action phase, you know, they've skipped over motivation, already taking an action, uh, then they're a highly qualified lead. And, and also challenges tend to be very niche focused. So uh, like um, Stephanie said, you can just take the content and make it your own. There are two really important questions, Shelly, that just came in that I want to address. Yeah. So yeah. Gari is asking if the meal plans are culturally diverse. Her timing could not be better. <laughs> we just published. Um, so we've had an African-American heritage meal plan for probably about six months now. We just published a, an Indian flavors meal plan. So Vandana Chef helped us um, curate this beautiful four-week rotating meal plan. All of the recipes are created by colleagues um, and it's, it's amazing. <laughs> I was getting really hungry curating it. So it's, it's really that, that we have already done for you, but understand that you can edit that and make it your own to make it applicable to your population. And Maria is saying that she also works with um, specific cultural foods and works with people who might have limited food accessibility. Um, you can edit everything. So you can, I mean, the, the, the evidence-based information is the same. How you deliver it is really up to you. Um, in terms of language barriers, we are on 2023 schedule in Q1 is my goal. We are translating our entire library into Spanish. So while you can go in and and translate each piece of content, we're going to do that for you. So you can you can translate it now, which some of our practitioners are actually doing just to get a head start building the courses, but we're going to do that for you in 2023. And obviously, um, we're going to make the meal plans also um, in Spanish. So yeah, so Sonia is saying she's loving the Indian um, uh, flavors meal plan, you know, and, and it's, it's wonderful because you can address, you know, diverse populations, but I also think it's wonderful to expose people to different cultures. So you can use those that, you know, that meal plan with any client, but I think it will be um, particularly helpful for uh, practitioners who serve those communities. Um, and Maria, you know, you, you said that you were worried about the application um, of the content. If you come into our library and you don't see something, the one thing that all of our members will tell you about us is that we are super responsive. If you need something, thousands of other practitioners need it too. So we'll put it on the development schedule when we create it. Right, Stephanie? Poor, yeah, poor Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, you've got like five more courses coming. She's like, she can't even catch it. Yeah, can't even keep up with it. I, and I wanted to just yeah. address Sonia's note about it's so hard. There's so many things in the library. It's hard to pick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I have two things on that. One, 
it only takes one one really great piece of that content to get your return on what your investment is. So take that pressure off of yourself. Just yeah. um, and and one good way to start is listen to your existing clients. What are the questions that they're asking? Look in that library and say what piece answers those questions or that one question, and or how can I modify a piece to answer that question appropriately? Um, and that is going to be hard hitting for you. So just uh, write down those questions that you're getting in clinic or from yes. your client um, and look for the piece that's going to answer it and guaranteed you're going to get that return from that one piece of content so you don't have to implement the entire library although we'd love that that's yeah. great yeah. It's appropriate yeah. but eventually um, yeah, yeah eventually eventually um but i think you're going to find that um it's it's um it's great content it's gonna it's gonna get you that return um, just before 1.30, because I know Karen, Karen Reiser is on this call with us. Um, Karen Reiser does a lot of work inside of Practice Better. She's actually going to be featured. Could I say that? Was that okay? Okay. Sure. Jelly, um, really an amazing person and practitioner. Karen, can you please drop the link before you leave for your, your call at 1.30? Um, Karen is supporting us, Living Plate Rx, with doing um, discovery calls. If, you're, if you want to take a deeper dive into the library and the platform to see how it can add value to your practice before committing, um, Karen is um, going to drop a link in here. Um, and if she's not on right now, if she had to go, I'll make sure that I get it to everybody. Um, she is a Practice Better user. So for all of you here, oh, thanks, Karen. She just dropped it. Okay, great. Discovery call link, Practice Better LPRX. So check that out. Click that, make a call with Karen and she'll walk you through it. She knows both Practice Better and Living Plate really, really well. So that will be very helpful to you. And then also before I hand it over to Shelly, I just want you all to know that we are 100% guarantee satis like satisfaction guarantee company if you join our community and you you know look at everything and you're like I this isn't going to be for me I'll give you your money back like I'm not I'm very confident our attrition rate is less than two percent people who leave our community it's because they've had a change of job or or a life change right um once you're in you're in I would love to see who's a living plate rx prime member just raise your hand just say me I know we have members in this in this call. I can see the names. So drop in um, me and let us know with a smiley face if you're yeah, happy. And, with and what you're, yeah. Just know in the, in the replay, you're yeah. going to get links to how to get how to sign up for Living Plate if you're not already a member, how yeah. to connect with Stephanie so she can help you with your marketing. So you're going to get all of that great information in the replay. Oh, Michelle, welcome. We have a new member. We have a lot of new members joined since we were at Fancy. And Gory, since you're a member already, go into your dashboard. You'll see the Indian Flavors meal plan there. Please give me feedback. I curated it based on information that Vandana Chef, who is a thought leader in this space, um, but I'm sure I got something wrong. So <laughs> give, give me some feedback and uh, we'll make the changes. Thank you so much. Um, okay, Shelly, was there anything you wanted me... God. I was just going to say, Ellen was asking if we help with um, implementing the courses, and absolutely, oh, that, yeah, uh, we yeah. we are collaborating. So the, uh, we have an offering specifically for branding and implementing the courses in Practice Better um, for you. So all yeah. of the heavy lifting with the video editing and the um, um, editing the handouts and all of that kind of stuff is done for you. So we'll we'll send out some information on that, yeah. Um, and, and yeah. So we'll, well, we before, help. yeah, before we switch it over to the demo, Jeannie, can you just talk, cause I know you have so many different meal plan types. Can you talk about maybe the top two to three, like most common that you see people? Sure, hundred percent. And know that you can start with any one of our templates mm -hmm. and any one of them and create your own signature plan. We actually encourage you to do that, to rename it. I would say probably the anti-inflammatory plan um, be only because an anti-inflammatory diet crosses many nutrition prescriptions for, you know, uh, for, I don't need to, to rattle them all off here, but like, you know, heart disease and cancer prevention and diabetes, like anti, it's a lower glycemic index, um, anti-inflammatory plan. I will also say that what's really popular right now and kind of trending with our members are the three X four plans. So there's a company 3X4 Genetics. Um, it's a, a, a nutrigenomic testing company. They're like leaders in the field. And we partnered with them to curate meal plans that align with their um, test results and their pathways. So if your client does the 3X4 Genetics test, a pathway co will come back. For example, methylation. You need to eat foods that support methylation. 
we did the meal plan already. So you're just like, okay, here's your meal plan, right? So I think that those, that entire collection, there's like methylation, oxidative stress and anti-inflammatory, um, that's all in there. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I mean, and then I would say the flex, the flex plan is Mediterranean diet. So it's a little, it's the least restrictive of all of our plans. All of our plans are 75% plant-based, 25% of animal proteins, unless you select one of the vegan plans, which you can absolutely do. So the flex plan just opens it up a little bit more. There's some whole, all whole grains, whole grain pasta, there's um, brown rice and, and the, you know, the carbs are a little bit higher on that one, but th those three, I would say Shelly are the top, but you, you can, you know, you use, pick one of those use as your base and make it your own. Take, it'll take you minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I pasted a couple times in here, the link to the, just so you could see what the quick start guide, the meal planner, yes. well, you know, since we're not really going into that today, but just yeah. take a Car break. Karen will, uh, Maria's just asking, do we provide nutrient information? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. We're yes, of course we do. So yes, Maria, you can be very confident. We use the USDA database to um, assign ingredients to, and you can add your own recipes, even Maria. So you can build your recipes. And as you add ingredients the nutrition facts, um, aggregate and it generates a nutrition facts label for you. So you will be able to view nutrition facts by recipe, by meal, because sometimes most times you have different recipes, you know, two or three recipes in a meal um, by day and by week. So you, and you have access to all of that. Awesome. All right. So at this point, I'm going to share my screen. I'm actually going to if we can just maybe turn off our video so they can focus on sure. the demo. And then as I'm going through showing you some of this, Jeannie and Stephanie, feel free to chime in if you want to of course. add anything. And if there's other questions coming in, let me share my screen. Okay. Can you see the demo system or are you seeing yes. okay. yep. yep. All right, so I just want to show you some different ways, maybe some creative ways just to spark some ideas of how you can offer meal plans through Practice Better. So let's first take a look at some packages that I have set up. So we're coming in here to packages. So you can, and again, these are just samples. The pricing, these are not, this is not a real system, but I just want to give you some different ideas. Um, so we have a couple options here for the flex the flex plan, I have a package that is literally just a membership every month where you're going to be paying for getting these weekly meal plans. And then I have another one that's the flex plan, but I put in there a one-to-one -one culinary nutrition consult, which is actually a service that you can bundle. And you can put as many in there if you want to offer two per month or three per month. So you'll see here with this package, you have, so you may on your website, you may have a really nice landing page talking about the, the Flex meal plan, and then you can link over to this package. And so they'll have the same description over here, but this is where they're actually going to pay for it. So you can see the pricing model is ongoing payments. Um, that is actually set up over here as a payment plan. So it's just, um, this one is 197 per month because it's they're getting that one-to-one -one 60 minute consult in addition to the meal plans. Um, so then over here, you can see that I bundled in. Um, so we have this package, they get one of these consults per month because it's ongoing, we're not gonna limit the number of sessions. It's just gonna be however long they're in the membership, but we're gonna limit it to one per month. So if you wanna offer more per month, you can just change this and change, you could have a couple different levels depending on how much individual um, you know, con consultations people need. Now, the other thing that I added, I have a, an evergreen program, which I'm going to show you. This is just kind of, this is a free bonus. So I mentioned here when they're buying this package, they get a bonus and it's access to a 10-day self-care challenge that's already built in here. So when they purchase this program, they're automatically enrolled in this program. They can go through it as quickly as they want. Um, it's really meant to just be over 10 days, but 
this is a time savings to you. You don't have to enroll them. They're just, you know, going to be auto enrolled in that. So you can see here that um, I have this set up to redirect. So when they purchase the package after they're finished, they're going to be redirected to where they can sign up for the um, meal plan. And also in the email notification here, uh, so they'll get this email and it's going to pull in there. It's going to be personalized with their name. It's going to tell them where they can sign up for the meal plan. And they're going to have a coupon here for 100% off since they're already paying for it in the package. So they don't, they're not going to be paying for it again over here. Shelly, can I just uh, mention the coupon code? Yeah. Yeah, so that's a relatively new function. We deployed that about six months ago. Uh, so as a Living Plate RX Prime member, you get pre-built landing pages so that patients can sign up and activate their meal plans. And uh, they're basically for re like retail sales of the meal plan. So you can set your price for that. But if you are running a program, you don't want people to pay separately for that. You want them to be able, oh, Shelly, you're opening up one now. I don't know that it'll op open. Oh, there it goes. Okay, perfect. Oh, this is actually right. okay. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, so you get these pre-built landing pages, and when somebody clicks to purchase them, you can generate in your dashboard coupon codes. So as a Living Plate Arts Prime member, you have no limit to the amount of meal plans, uh, consumer meal plans that you can issue. So you just create a um, coupon code that reflects. You know, the alphanumeric code should reflect your. Um, package that you're offering. And then you can set how many months or days or weeks this person is going to be getting access with this code. So you create your own coupon code so that they don't have to pay. But what using the landing page does, what Shelly does here, is it automatically creates your meal planning account and it generates an email for them to activate their meal planning account. So it literally skips an entire step in the workflow where you would, you know, normally if somebody signed up for your package, you'd have to go into LPRX and issue each person who signs up a meal plan, you don't have to do that anymore because you can generate this code so that they can sign up themselves. Yeah, awesome. Yep. Okay, so these, so I just wanted to show you here all the different ways that you can, so depending on how many meal plans you offer, like this one here is exactly the same. It's just the verbiage is different. It's the anti-inflammatory plan. Um, so this one, because it's, doesn't include the one-to-one -one consults. It's $37 a month. You can set whatever price you want. It's just going to go ongoing. You would, you would want to include any kind of um, disclaimer about like if they can cancel anytime. You can actually create a disclaimer in here and then add that at the bottom. So they get like a little checkbox or you can add it in the description. Um, so the other thing that we did, the other thing I created in programs, which I'm going to show you in a minute, is a meal prep club. This is sort of an ongoing program every week. Um, so you have two, uh, the reasons I put it in a package is because I wanted to, um, first of all, when they buy the package, they're going to be auto enrolled in the program. So that saves you a step. Um, I also wanted to offer two choices. And I think I created a custom page. So um, Actually, let's see. Sign. Okay, so I created a custom booking page where they get the option to just do the meal plan or to do um, the meal plan plus the, oh, this is the culinary consult. Okay, so um, they can do the weekly live cooking demonstration. So this one's going to be a little bit more expensive, but they have that option. If they just want to do the meal prep club or they want to have these live cooking, which I would be over Zoom. So I have Zoom connected to Practice Better, and I have these sessions already set up, which I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to be doing like batch cooking live over Zoom for the people that are wanted to pay more. For I, I, Shelly, I cannot even tell you how much I love this. And so, I really love this because I think this is where the impact, real impact happens when you're mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Um, Sarah just asked, can we do live sessions within the portal itself? And Sarah, the answer is yes. And this is what you're looking at right now. Yeah. So I added in here, I created what's called a group service in Practice Better. It's linked to Zoom. Um, so it'll automatically generate the Zoom links. And so I bundled this into the package 
And I didn't put a limit on how many they can have, because if they're going to just continue on going in a membership, um, they're just going to keep doing, you know, joining whatever live session each week they want. Um, and you'll see when I show you in the programs how that's set up. And then again, as a bonus, they're getting this sort of fun little 10 day self care challenge as well. Um, so let's go take a look at that. If we head over to my programs, and some of you are aware that we just had a big program refresh, so a lot of new features. Um, I don't want to get too much into that today, but I will include in the replay email links to the deep dive overview that we just did and to some of the help articles that go over all the new features. Um, so if we take a look at this meal prep club, I actually have it set up in two different ways. I have it set up as evergreen, and then I also have one set up as a group program. If you wanted to have everybody start and stop on the same day or have the modules open, um, you could set it up that way. But let's take a look at the meal prep club. So what this is, I only have two modules set up, but what you're going to do is you're, you're going to enroll your clients or they'll auto enroll and every week you'll create a new module and you'll rename this. You'll see this one is archive. So this would have been last week. So they'll have, so over time, they'll keep getting more and more modules and they can go back and look at whatever content, whether you had some guides or handouts or anything that went along with the recipes. So if we go in here, um, you can see, so that's, this is this week's module. So when you give this to a client, it's going to be personal. It's going to pull in their first name. It's going to say, you know, welcome Addie, if that's your client. And then you can put all of your um, content in here. So you can have um, images, video, audio files, you can brand it to your color. So I just I just pasted the link to so you can play this Vimeo right here in the module. Now, if you have for people who are not able or not going to be using the meal planning software, you can go in and generate a recipe, the recipes and the shopping list and PDF those. And so even if they're not using the meal planning software, they can still be part of this meal prep club and get the recipes and shopping list as attachments to um, the module. I'll just, um, can I just mention that here yeah. um, again about the the um, PDF generation? So that was, a, a, that was something that just deployed just a few months ago. And uh, within your meal planner, you can generate a PDF. You just click a button excuse me, you can make some decisions about what you want in that PDF email, you know, that PDF booklet. And then it just generates um, a PDF version of the meal plan you created. We also um, have in our library recipe packs. So if you were focusing, let's say you're doing like Croctober, for example, which is a fun challenge <laughs> that a lot of our communities, like one member of our community said, I'm doing it. And then like a bunch of people like that is brilliant. I'm doing it too. And they're le leveraging the um, you know crock pot content and instant pot content that we have available in our library and building the challenge around that and then go, creating a meal plan uh, that you can um, again you can create the meal plan with crock pot recipes or you can just download the recipe pack video. Um, somebody is asking um, that they, they've created a six and twelve month package and they're charging for all of their services up front, including 3x4. Can Living Plate be charged up front rather than monthly? Um, Shelly, the answer to th that question is yes. You can do that. You can create um, a 12 month program in Practice Better. And the coupon code, Julie, that you create will automatically issue those clients 12 months of meal planning. So you control the expiration date of the meal plan. So it doesn't have to be monthly. Uh, you, yeah, you know, so you, you would just do the fixed fee and yes. then you would set whether they can pay everything up front or if you want to offer a payment plan. So maybe they pay a deposit and then they pay over the next couple months, like for the whole 12 months. So you have the option of doing the fixed fee or just ongoing like a, a membership type. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Um, I did want to show you in the, let's see, in the program. So I just want to show you for those of you who aren't familiar with Practice Better programs, 
in the this is chefs this is um an awesome awesome program i just want to show you what a branded module well, while you're pulling it up i'll just tell everybody what chefs is <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. chefs chefs is a 12 lesson culinary skills course for you you can get credits for it if you go through it and your patients so it's consumer facing as well 12 lessons stephanie how many videos are in chefs cooking videos there are 184 videos total <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. that we've done for you, right? So that includes um, narrated slide decks. We give you the transcript so you can narrate them yourself. Or if you can tolerate my Jersey accent, you can, you know, use the narrated slide deck. And then we include all of the cooking videos as well. But you see um, the cooking video runs inside and Stephanie and her team branded the um, intro and outro for each video. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that last example on the lesson title, you'll see for this on this example, uh, she was sharing it previously. If you go to lesson eight there, Shelly, you can see what the branded videos look like. So taking, um, yeah, right there yeah. you go. So yeah, intro and exit slides that are branded, branding the text and things like that um, is the service that we're providing. And then also helping with, um, the upfront marketing. So example, if you want to write a, run a challenge leading into chefs or, um, something similar, uh, we can help you out getting that system set up. Somebody and just said, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly, for showing this. This is really great. Yeah. Yeah. This is a very, very robust and, and you can, you know, as a licensee of Living Plate Rx um, content, you can take it apart too. So there are 12 lessons here. One lesson that a lot of practitioners are using as an opt-in is convenience cooking and meal planning, because those are, those are further on down. I think it's 11 and 12, Shelly. Um, you, you can copy this course and pick it apart. Like you can use any part of the content in any way that best serves your community. Kelly, we're, we're going to send out a link to the information for the white label branding or sorry, white label, brand, the branding of the white label of courses. So um, she was just asking, she, she would like that information. We'll send that out to you. And Kristen is asking, um, do the cooking videos reflect recipes in the meal plans? 100%. That's the idea, right? So um, in, and Shelly, can I just take a minute to describe how oh, the meal plans yeah, could be yeah. in a course? Okay. Cool. Uh, so we recognize that our practitioners want to run evergreen courses. Our meal planner runs on a calendar, right? So if somebody signs up this week, they see this week's meal plan. If they sign up next week, they see next week's. That doesn't work in an evergreen scenario. So if you are running an evergreen program, if somebody signs up for your program, you want them to start it week one so that you can, you know, if you're talking about specific recipes and videos for that week, you want them to see those recipes and videos in that week. So you now have the choice. We just deployed this about a month ago. You now have the choice in your signature planner to say, I want this to be a calendar meal plan. If it's a, you know, if it's challenge where it has a definitive start and end date, you can run it as a calendar um, or you can run it as a non-calendar meal plan, in which case you would have week one, two, three, four, five, six. So you determine how many weeks you want to curate. I, I recommend most people don't curate more than six weeks. You can curate a meal plan for six weeks and put it on rotation and just change it seasonally. Nobody remembers what they ate yesterday, let alone six weeks ago. So that would be totally fine. And Jeannie, somebody was just asking about, um, do the videos include vegan options? And I'll just mention- 100%. Most of them are vegan, actually. Uh, so everything, we we follow the um, Harvard School of Public Health guidelines in terms of you know balance of um, animal proteins and uh, fruits and vegetables and grains. And so 75% of everything that we put out into the universe is plant-based. So you have plenty of options for plant-based. Uh, and we are currently creating a plant-based version of chefs. So what you were seeing is really a conventional version, an omnivoric uh, version, but we are also going to be creating a vegan version. So it will be all vegan videos, but it's really easy because almost all of our content is vegan. Yeah, so I was going to show you too with the if you're running a group fixed date program, so everybody's sort of going through it together, um, right within the program, you can add if you want to try to get off of Facebook, um, you can run a chat right in 
um, right in practice better. So, and it works very much like Facebook where people can post images, you comment, you can tag people. Um, so you can set up that group chat right in practice better. Then you can also set up your weekly session. So every Wednesday at 1 p.m. is the live cooking demonstration. And you can have the people who are enrolled auto enrolled in these sessions. So the four people that are enrolled in this fixed date are automatically enrolled and they will get an email with the Zoom link. It'll be in their portal. Um, you, you don't have to set up any of that. It just automatically with the Zoom integration, it just generates all these links, makes it super easy. Um, so, so this is really what the um, programs look like. I was just going to see, I have this fall five-day mindful eating. So Stephanie was talking earlier about these kind of shorter challenges. So this is just another example of like a five-day, you can come in here, um, add your content. Obviously, you're going to brand this with your colors and logo. Um, but you can add all sorts of attachments, handouts, guides, videos. Um, then you can also assign tasks. So you could even have a task about checking in, you know, every week with their meal planner and personalizing it, getting their shopping list ready. Um, the tasks are really nice because you can set due dates and reminders so they get an email and it'll pop up in their portal. Um, you can also attach forms and worksheets. That, so if you have, say, a pre and post survey for your challenge, um, if you have an assessment, you want to see how much you know they learned during those five days, you can attach that right in the module. And those are built under your online forms and worksheets. We have some questions um, about yeah. the videos for chefs. Um, oh, sure. the, the, so Christy, Christy okay. Beck is asking this question. Um, so Christy, all of the videos have like a generic intro and outro. It just says cooking lesson. I think that's what it says. I'm not sure. You can go in there, Shelly, and show them. It's just very generic. And what Stephanie and her team do is they remove the generic intro and they plug in a branded version of an intro for you. So no, you don't do that. And you don't edit the the contents of the video. It's just that this is what people see instead of the. Um, I guess my intro kind of follows this. Oh, that's cool. I love the animation on that, Stephanie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. I, I wanted to. I would. I would add to that. There's an option for um, now. If you want to, if 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 you're needing to transcribe the video and and add in your expertise for your audience, you have that option, and we can sync the video to the slides. Yes. So these slides are narrated by um, me and my partners, Jackie Topol and Christy Del Coro. Um, so you can, um, Stephanie's team would separate the audio and video and you can narrate it yourself, which a lot of our practitioners are doing. We give you the transcript. So we make it really, really easy for you. Um, uh, somebody, Laura is saying that she's interested in branding support. Yeah, Stephanie's yeah. going to get you all of her information. That would be great. Um, and somebody, somebody had mentioned too that they're a prime member. They're trying to figure out what their. Um, I think Catherine mentioned that you know she not knowing how what to do, what challenge to pick, what piece yeah. of content to pick. And um, I like to say it's it's um, it's almost impossible to read the label from inside the bottle, right? And you guys are inside of your practice every day, working it and having outside perspectives. That's that's the time to bring other experts in, and that's what we're providing to practitioners is um, bringing that outside perspective from a marketing perspective of how to position yourself in the market and your products um, and choosing the right product set to be able to offer, including lead magnets and how to funnel them in. Um, so if that's something that you're struggling with, um, don't feel like that's something that you should be an expert in. You guys are experts in helping people transform Correct. their lives. Um, let other people be the experts in that way and help guide you. And so if you're feeling that need for that guidance, um, you know, reach out, reach out, let us know, because that's what we do. And Catherine, you are absolutely not alone. Catherine, you are exactly 
who this partnership was built for. Um, if you lack tech savviness or you just don't even have an interest in tech, it can be really frustrating and defeating because there's there's just so much to consider. Uh, so, you know, and your time, time is money, right? So if you're spending all this time trying to, you know, brand your content and organize your content in your EHR to actually get it to your clients, you can't actually serve your clients as best you can. You only have so much time in a day. So that's why this partnership, it makes so much sense. Um, we just, you know, I, I know our platform, just having access to the content saves you quantum amounts of time. And of course, Stephanie is like the, you know, Ferrari. She really gets you across the finish line pretty quickly. Um, I think we had a question. Somebody asked if we offer a trial. Um, that's such, are we going to be coming to camera soon to answer questions? I'm sorry. Yeah, you can do that now. Okay, cool. And Stephanie just grabbed, uh, just dropped a link for a free discovery call. So oh, please awesome. feel free. I'm just going to turn my video on so I can say hello. That's our hello view. That's great. Um, so uh, um, somebody was asking if we offer a free trial. We don't because in order to see the value of everything, you need to get in it. You need to walk into the library to take a look and, you know, smell the books and touch the books. And like you really need to get in there and see what's available and also play around with the meal planning software. But I am a 100% satisfaction guarantee person. If you get in there, Maria, and you are, you do not see the value in our content, I'll give you your money back. So we do have a monthly option and an annual option. So I recommend for those of you who just want to put your toe in the water and see what we have, um, just join the monthly. And then if you wanted to save money by becoming a member, uh, long term, then you can always just transition and it'll um, it'll retroactively credit you that. So that's my answer to the free trial because I really, really believe you really you need to get in there. And, and when you get in, the first reaction most people have is excitement because there is so much content. I mean, we're talking about 1200 word blog posts and our members every month get fresh content. So we're doing a content drop right now. Um, and so it's just tons and tons and tons of value, but it can be overwhelming, which again, which is why Stephanie and I have partnered and why we're working with Practice Better to make sure that all of this amazing content, you know, it's there's more content in there than you'd ever use in your practice, honestly. Um, but you just need to pick and choose what you want to use. And then Practice Better provides you with a vehicle and Stephanie gives you the gas. I actually like that analogy. Do you like that? Oh, <laughs> that is Better is the car. I'm the, you're like carrying the luggage, right? It's, it's like <laughs> me traveling through the Orlando airport. I swear I had like 300 pounds of luggage because I had like tech stuff with me. And so I provide the content. I'm all the luggage. You know, Practice Better is the car and Stephanie's a gas. Like Stephanie will help you get everything. <laughs> Across the finish line. Yeah, I just thought of that. That was pretty good. I like that. That's perfect. I love, uh, love yeah, it. Maria is saying she'd love to try the monthly. Yeah, just dive in. We have plenty of information relevant um, to athletes. There's a lot of information targeted at athletes. So actually next month, Maria, we're publishing a 1200 word blog post on protein powders, a scientific article with references. So that'll be pretty cool for you. Um, but there's a lot of content, culinary content that's applicable for all niches. So, you know, you'll find a lot of stuff in there for sure. Yeah. And I would, I, from a marketing perspective and knowing the library, um, like I was saying before, one piece of that content will get you that return. Um, and anything in that, well, I can't say every piece applies to every, every niche, but no matter what oh. you can go in, then you're going to find yeah. something that's going to answer your, your client's questions. Yeah. Uh, no um, matter what. Yeah. Chris is asking a question. He already belongs to Living Plate. Um, so Chris, if you're a member of Living Plate, go to the chef's um, collection in the library. So that section in the library, it's like a little room in the back. Um, go ahead and open that up. And there's information on how you can activate your chef's license. So chef's um, is a culinary skills program that I created with two other master's level registered dietitians who are also culinary experts. And um, so if there's all that information is there to activate your license. If you have any questions, just, just DM me or email me or in our private Facebook group is another great place to reach me. Just catch me wherever I am. Um, Kelly is saying the Living Plate Library and Jeannie are a huge blessing. Oh, thanks, Kelly. <laughs> That's great. Excellent. And Tracy's asking if she can rebrand. So yes, all the materials in Living Plate's library, you can bring that, you can bring it right into Canva. There's a Canva template link 
and bring it right there and change whatever you're needing on it. So yes, you don't yeah. have to have Living Plate logo on there whatsoever. No, no, you're paying for a license. I mean, I own all the content, but you're paying for a license to use it. So if you terminate your license, we get that question a lot. So I'll, I know it's coming. So I'll just jump ahead. Um, if you terminate your license, you can no longer use the content. So if you built, built like four different programs inside Practice Better using our content or any derivative of our content, you'd have to stop offering that course. You wouldn't have to pull content like blog posts and social media posts like that would be cruel. Um, you know, if for some reason you needed to cancel your membership, um, you would just need to stop, you know, using the content. That's what a license is. Yeah. So there's a question. How do we integrate this into our Practice Better account? So that's what Great. I was showing. <laughs> um, so you will get the replay. I would recommend watching that. But if you need help with that, um, that's where Stephanie comes in. She's Stephanie, got do you have that link or do you want to just put the discovery call? Like what link are you dropping right now? Yeah, I think um, so I put the discovery call in. I will we'll email out the, the the so if you're a Living Plate member, we will communicate with you the branding of the materials just because it's a little soon. And then also the other thing is um, if you're a practice better user and you're a Living Plate member, Remember, uh, we are creating all of the courses in Practice Better white label um, to be able to share. Just it's it, you can import it into your Practice Better account via a link. So all the content will be pulled over so that you can then take and modify. There's still work to be done after you pull the course in. Obviously, you need to customize and make it your own brand. It, um, but it saves you a ton of time as far as how to set up a course and practice better. It's just so it's a wonderful feature that they have and we're facilitating the distribution of the links. So um, there's a lot of things that we're sharing here. I think that the two the two main ones get involved with a uh, genie, get involved with practice better. You're going to get strings information. If you're looking for help with the branding, I shared that link in chat. Go ahead and grab that. Um, but then all of the other services from string that's associated with the living plate we communicate that directly with members if that makes sense i know it's a little bit it's little a lot bit like we, we have to make your head uh, spin here just know we got you <laughs> yeah we got, <laughs> like we we got you. you just reach out with yeah. questions. We'll, we'll make yeah. sure yeah you, and we're, we'll we're figuring it out it. right it wasn't perfect when we when we started but like we're, we're working it out so you know just trust us that we'll, we'll get you across the finish line um shelly somebody is asking that um they how would they create a practice better account i think that you are going to be emailing information out post webinar, which also, by the way, there is a recording of this webinar. So you will be able to watch this webinar for those of you who are asking. Yeah. So if you go to the link that I just pasted in here, there you can have a 14 day free trial. So I would recommend all the different plans, like get on the plus plan. That's the highest. Um, you know, I don't know if you don't need to do team if you're not on a team, but the plus plan will give you access to the evergreen programs. Um, that's what you would use for chefs. So sign up for the 14 day trial on the plus so you can kind of play around with it and experience that. And then um, then if you wanna sign up, you can work with Stephanie and get your Living Plate Rx account set up and you'll be Perfect. ready. Um, Sue asked a question, do we rebrand the content with MPB? That's a great question, Sue, because we kind of like just kind of skipped over that. Um, we and but Stephanie did mention it um, as a Living Plate RX Prime member within your library, you have um, active links to, that bring you right into Canva to that specific piece of content. What's super cool is that what Stephanie's team has done inside the white labeled. So let's say you wanted to offer nutrition for optimal metabolism, which was one of the first courses that Stephanie's team built and practiced better. In module one, we give you all of the active Canva links to access to go right to the content. So let's say you wanted to um, re-narrate the slide deck and you wanted to change some of the graphics in there to make it more appropriate for your population. You just click a link. It'll say, click here for Canva link to template and it'll take you right there. You then edit it and pull it back into Practice Better. So no, you don't edit it inside of Practice Better. That absolutely requires like external software um, and Canva's the way to go. I mean, you know, could you use some fancy designer software? Sure. Um, but honestly, Canva is just so easy, so seamless to use. Um, we provide to all of our members a lot of professional trainings um, for CEUs. So if you are an RD, you our members get 12 CEUs per year. Um, I released a, a bunch of different courses, but one of the courses was Canva 101. So we show you exactly what to do. There you go. Perfect. So there you go. So there's yeah. click here for template. Yeah. So you just yep. click 
and you'll be brought right into Canva, you do need to have a Canva Pro account. Otherwise, it's a waste of your time because you'll have to stop import free imagery and free fonts and you can't deliver a high quality program with a free Canva program. Just can't do it. So if we already have edited content in Canva, can we pull it into practice better? Or oh, yeah. yes, 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 yes. And, and Stephanie's team would get access to your Canva account um, yep. to retrieve all of that. Yes. So hopefully you went through Nutrition Content Creation Academy and all of your content is organized into folders. That was another training that we just released for 10 CEUs. Um, it's a four week program and it helps you um a, a little bit with branding stephanie's really the pro there but it also um shares with you how do you use our content to create a social media calendar you know how do you push it out on social media how do you create an ebook how do you use a blog post because we provide you with 1200 word blog posts but you're not going to copy it and paste it on your website because that's not going to help anybody's seo you have to you know change the content um but you know stephanie's team makes it super super easy um mm -hmm. to, to brand all that stuff yeah, we when we do the branding, we we handle all the uploading, downloading of videos, resyncing of everything, um, Canva, organizing everything in Canva, making sure you have a Canva brand board, all of those niggly details and all of the file organization. So in the end, you have you have the course in practice better to be able to you know, send you know use with your clients, right. um, but you also have all of the files. Um, in Canva and also in an external drive as well. So you you have you have access to all that stuff. You could change it in the future um, and whatnot. And there's some really great examples out there of how people have taken the content and and changed it for them. There's one really great example of a an oncologist dietitian that has taken it and really modified chefs for her own um, and and interjected her expertise in there and recipes and things like that. Um, and that's really the 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 point of it is to take it and interject that um and especially especially with the blog post you have to interject your expertise and make sure it's for your audience. yeah because stephanie stephanie really wants your seo to be you know stellar, right. right that's search engine optimization right um so uh somebody is saying so much content it's amazing just make making a small dent in everything living plate michelle thank you michelle there is more content than you will ever use in your professional career as a nutrition professional just trust me there's so much there um so can you clarify if we are a LPRX member and PB Pro member, are we getting these courses as part of both memberships or is there a separate fee? Uh, Samantha, that's a really great question because Stephanie, I don't think we yeah, made the dis no, yeah. distinction. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll let Stephanie, and Stephanie, when you answer that question, somebody also asked, is it only the chef's course or is it all? Oh, sure. yeah. It's yeah. okay. So um, we are facilitating the share of those links for Jeannie. So no, it is not an ex. If you're a member of both of those, uh, we have a form that you can fill out that, um, and it goes into our system and it will spit out all of the, the links that we have currently created. Um, and as new courses become available, we will send those links out as well. So it's not just a chef's course, it's all the courses. And if you are a, a member of Living Plate and of Practice Better, you fill out the form and we will get you on that list and you'll be sent to all of those links. So Stephanie, we're going to facilitate it. I just, clarify, it's I just oh. want to clarify though, with the pro plan, the Practice Better pro plan, you have access to fixed date course. Oh, thank you. Yeah. On the plus and the team plan, you can access fixed date plus evergreen and now the new self paced yeah. courses. So that's the only so chef's courses chef's courses are not it's evergreen and the basic courses so chefs is 12 module evergreen the other basic courses are um four modules that can be can be fixed date but if they import one that is a evergreen will it just import as a fixed date then anytime you import a program it asks you do you want to import a fixed date evergreen okay. self paced okay. so you can choose yeah yeah. Okay. Um, Sue is asking, are there additional trainings on the LP site? Yes. Our members get, again, 12 continuing education units every year. So for my already friends, you know what that means. Um, but for everybody else, it just means education. So we provide tons of education tons of education, um, mostly driven by what my community is telling me. We have over 3,500 health and wellness professionals using our platform. They're my boss. They, they tell me, they're my boss. They tell me 
what I need to do. And I just published the Nutrition Content Creation Academy, which is a four module, but really eight week course, because it's a lot to get through um, that helps you, you know, kind of determine your brand and your brand voice and step by step how to use this content, brand the content and opportunities to use it to scale your practice. Um, So yes, we provide a lot of training. So, so, and Chris, you're, you're meant to, just, I just want to reiterate, we're going to email out the relevant yeah. information for if you, if you are not a practice better or, a, or a, sorry, a living plate member, you'll get, you'll get some more general information on getting involved with that. And then if you are a living plate uh, member, you'll be getting information that's more about implementing the courses for, from strings. So I apologize. There's just two sides, whether you're signed up already or not. And so that's where the confusion is coming from. And it will be yeah. clarified in emails, I promise. Amazing. Um, somebody was asking, and Stephanie, you could probably answer this better than me. Um, I, I, how many courses do we have built in practice better? I think we actually just got two across the finish line this week. We yeah, have. We're up to, I want to say six or seven. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and I think in the library, we have 24, we have, a, we have a lot and we, and we drop four new course, full courses. Um, and that of course is like a collection of materials too. So they each have cooking videos and handouts and evaluations. Um, so we're, we're working as hard and as fast as we can, but we don't want that to be at the expense of quality. And the fact that all of these new, the, you know, these new functions have been deployed in Practice Better just makes everything really, really seamless. So I anticipate we're going to be chugging along pretty per, at a pretty good clip right now, Kelly. Um, somebody was asking if we have done for you content for the meal prep club. So what I was showing you with the meal prep was more around the structure of how you can set up meal plans in a program and then add it to a package like if you want to add weekly group calls um but because living plate rx the membership gives you tons and tons of content you can pick and choose what content you want to add in addition to the meal plan so you'll yep. have tons and tons of content to use handouts and handouts ebooks there's a, there's a meal meal prep and meal planning um there's an entire meal prep and meal planning module in the chef's program. You could just pluck that out. I mean, you could make that into a challenge very, very easily. Um, and th- like we just published how to build a mason jar salad. Like there's a lot of different pieces of content that just use your imagination and also knowing your audience, what are they you know, going to want to see and just curate that content. Just, you know, just go in and go into the library, just like any other library, just go in, go to the card catalog and say, I need this, 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 and this, you know, take those books home and build yourself a beautiful course or have Stephanie's team do it for you. All right. Are there any other questions? So each monthly collection in the library will eventually be converted to a course in practice. Yes. Yes, eventually. <laughs> yeah, we're again, we're, 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 we've added people to our team. Stephanie's added people to her team only because, you know, we tested this out with the Practice Better community just like, I don't know, four or five months ago. And the response was overwhelming. Like we knew it. We knew we knew what you guys needed because I actually, as a private practice dietitian, I experienced exactly the same thing. So I know where you're at. And we just really want to help you get across the finish line so that you can do what you've been trained to do, which is help people meet their health goals with food and not worry about the tech, not worry about the content, not worry about the sales funnels or building your email list. Like it's just, it's a bit much, right? So you can just get back to practicing, which is what you want to do. Yeah, and well, in the replay email, I'll include a link to the pre, we did a re- a webinar what in July or August yeah July well, yeah 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 and we Stephanie showed all the different the other courses the non-chefs courses and we really get more into the courses in that webinar so we will send that as well so you can if you didn't see it you can watch that one all right well thank you so much this was so exciting Jeannie and Stephanie thank you for coming into our community and it is it is our absolute pleasure to serve your community. Stephanie and I are built from the same clock. We just spent what four days together, just like yeah, yeah. talking nonstop on the floor of Fancy. I was an exhibitor, and we just talked nonstop, and just it really solidified that this partnership is um, something that's going to be very powerful for you. Um, and we both come from the same place of service. We just want to serve you as best as we can. 
Yep. Make it easy for you guys. Yeah. Awesome. So look, keep an eye out for the email. All these links and resources will all be in that email. So thank you everybody for taking the time, all the great questions and have an awesome rest of the day. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Bye.